Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. I went online to become a private detective. It was a private detective school online, and I paid online. I never heard from them again. I thought to myself, I either got ripped off, or this is my first case. This is a journalistic podcast, Shannon. We vaccinate our listeners with answers. And I'm going to keep lip syncing the important questions until TikTok gives me a show. Shannon, how can the moon landing be real if the moon itself is fake? It's not true, Mike. Oh, isn't it true, Shannon? You're fake. You're a hologram. One in five New Yorkers are food insecure. What's your solution for that, Mike? Fortune cookie. Because that's food and advice at the same time. Shannon, at least have the decency to backstab me, okay? You stab me in the front every time. Some fans can't watch the podcast because they're triggered by our sexuality. And message to those fans, we will leak a sex tape right into your mouth. This is Mike Vecchione Investigates. And you're not better than me. Welcome to another stunning episode of Mike Vecchione Investigates, everybody. I am live in studio. I know the last time was via satellite from my mother's house in Florida, where I was investigating a lot of different things, mostly foods that my mother prepared for me and overeating and then um, sleeping um, and taking naps. But I'm well rested now and I'm back in a studio in the gas digital um, bowels, in the clutches of gas digital. I'm here, and I'm here for you, live in studio. Uh, My fellow investigator is running late. He apparently had uh, personal problems or um, maybe a previous investigation that he was on. And, you know, because we do a lot of work on the road and in and out, and sometimes because of public transportation and other things, the investigator could be late. Will he be docked pay? I don't know. It depends on the situation. It depends on what situ- what excuses that he offers when he comes in here and if I find them to be viable or not. We can investigate why he's late when he comes. But um, thank you for joining us. We have uh, some orders of business to get to before we get to the actual show, which is packed because we have a lot to address. Um, a bunch of stuff happened. Uh, there's a bunch of clubs I have to shout out to. Comedy Works in Denver. I was there uh, at the beginning of the month, and it was unbelievable. What a great club. I understand why people say that that's one of the best clubs in the country because I had a fantastic time, and uh, many, many low-income whites came out to see me, and I was able to talk down to them and really commiserate with them, and it was just a a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience that the Hill folk came out to see me. The small town hill folk made an effort to come and see my live show, and I don't think that they were disappointed. I brought it. I'll just say it. I brought it. I was also at uh, Magoobies for a benefit, Comics Crushing Cancer. Thank you to everybody who came out for that, and my friend Jen Hellman for putting it together. It was an unbelievable night. Uh, I had to go to Denver the next day, so I could not stay and hang out and talk to the um, adoring fans. I had to get into my um, limo, which was just a regular car, and fly back to the city fast. I was speeding the entire way. I had to get into the bed because I had to do the uh, Comedy Works in Denver the next day. So shout out to Comics Crushing Cancer. Shout out to the Comedy Works in Denver. And then I um, did some dates with Nate Bargatze. Shout out to Ithaca, um, which sounds like uh, something that you would uh, you'd be coughing up when you had a variant. <laughs> Ithaca! <laughs> Ithaca! <laughs> I'm making fun of your town. If you're listening from Ithaca, I am uh, making fun of you. State College, Pennsylvania, where I went to college, Penn State University, criminal justice degree, which you can get online now. Uh, but I got it from uh, fresh from a state college, Pennsylvania, go blue. 
And uh, then we went to Philly, where I also lived for eight years, a little bit of a reunion, went to the Penrose Diner with my friend John Vitale. We had an overpriced omelet and talked about um, the Eagles, the Phillies, and uh, what it's like to be uh, out on disability, which is what most Philadelphia people talk about. Then it was off to Roanoke, which is a, um, um, a colony that disappeared, much like my career. <laughs> But the people of Roanoke were very nice. And then uh, off to Asheville, which is um, a mountain town where everybody is super artistic and trendy and thinks that they're not hillbillies, but they actually are. So I had to go set them straight and the other low-income whites in the other cities, Ithaca State College, Philly, Asheville, and Roanoke, had to set all the low-income whites straight, and they took it very well. They took the news there very well that they're uh, low-income whites. Also, shout out to Soul Joel in Pottsville, uh, Pottstown. I'm sorry, Pottsville is different. Pottsville is uh, where everybody on this network goes to when they eat edibles. This is Pottstown, PA. Soul Joel did it Saturday night with Anthony Zenhauser, a dear friend, great comic. And we nailed it. We knocked it out of the park. Um, it was uh, Sunnybrook. Sunnybrook, um, it was a wedding, not chapel. It was a wedding uh, banquet hall. So we did that. Soul Joel in Pottstown. Shout out. It was uh, fantastic. It was a fantastic experience. And the people there are very good, very down to earth. Um, and I hope to see more people from the Philadelphia area in uh, Sicklerville, New Jersey, December 16th, because I'll be doing Volaris with my friend Vince Valentine, who books it. So um, who books it, you ask? Vince Valentine. And uh, so just a quick shout out to all of those places and all of those venues and all of those people. Thank you for uh, opening yourself to me and accepting me into your lives to have me affect you with my um, stand up comedy and various other um, acts that I perform. Sometimes I'll break into poetry. Riddles are big now. Whatever it takes to get the job done. While I've been talking and plugging and thanking, because I'm very th this is a uh, gratitude time of year. When Thanksgiving is over, you don't stop being, you don't stop having gratitude. For those of you who basically uh, are functioning at a low level, you need to be gracious the entire year. That way, it'll manifest more good things into your life. But you're not doing it to manifest things because you're not a selfish person. What you are is a good person. And what you're doing is you're just being grateful for the sake of being grateful. I don't know if you selfish people out there who are listening to this could wrap your tiny brains around it, but hopefully it'll start to uh, marinate, which is something that we do when we cook. But also it has another meaning, which means to sit on your brain and kind of work its way around that little egg-shaped thing that you guys have in your head. So marinate on it. Gratitude is the word of the day, and I'm grateful to all these places and performing for all of these crowds, and I'm also grateful for my fellow investigator who um, schlepped his way in. I think in this anti-Semitic times, it's important that I keep true to the um, Hebrew terminology. He schlepped his way in, was late, didn't stop him. He jumped on a city bike, I want to say, and... Uh, Popped a wheelie all the way over here. Fellow comedian, hilarious stand-up comic, Rich Aronovich is joining me. Rich is funny. I'll just say Rich is funny. Uh, you know what? Uh, first of all, I'm very grateful that you're a forgiving person because mm -hmm. there is no excuse I have. And I was honest. Right. I was honest. I, yeah. I, I could have I could have lied. Were you honest in the uh, fact that you blamed Shannon and then I had to do a small investigation into the texts where it said 4 p.m.? No, I was no. ready for anything that you had because I will protect Shannon and to a lesser extent Natalie at all costs. I, just for some reason, she said 4 and my brain went 4.30, mm. got it, and I wrote it in my book 4.30, right. told my wife 4.30, right. explained to my son about the importance of being on time, right. and... As I was at 4.02, I got a, are you close? Right. And I was thought, like, Shannon thought I was in jail. I thought right. she was talking to me. Are we close? Uh, I'm not incarcerated, although I could have been. But no, and then I realized I am the fish I'm trying to catch. I'm the problem. And I do come with humble apologies. I'm not, this is not like me. 
Mike? It's not like you, and I appreciate you taking ownership. It's a lesson to the fans out there who have an excuse for everything. Oh, I can't do it. My leg hurts. My knee hurts. I can't work out today. I can't get off the couch. I can't look for a job. I'm My stimulus money is gone. It's like every excuse. And Rich, you come in as a shining example of a guy who messed up and is uh, seeking... Um, not forgiveness retro- forgiveness forgiveness and i do want to blame the jews but that's that's hack right that's easy you to can't do can't blame them i can't it's blame the jews fault. it's my fault fu- i take right. responsibility in the past right there was a time where i would have been like sorry my grandfather died yeah and they would be like again this is his fifth time right i'm like well he's still dead i didn't say when he died right. i use that as an excuse but my grandfather has been dead since i've been seven but i figured he can't die again right it's no reflection on him. No, he's he's you still just, dead. But you're using him as a resource, so in that way he lives on. He that's and his memory lives on. His memory lives on in the fact that you use it as an excuse in order to get yourself out of a difficult situation. Yeah, and I came excited. I have I have my investigative pipe. Wow. I've got my investigative hat. He's got a quirky hat on. I got a qu- And a, that really does help solve cases faster when you have a quirky hat. It's a Sherlock hat. It's a Sherlock it's hat. It's a Sherlock hat. It's a Sherlock hat. And for those of you people who are watching, Rich did come late, but he came ready to play. And I don't know if you understand what that means. Sherlock hat on, glasses, which means I need to see things. I need to review documents. And a pipe for when he has to pontificate on something. Really think it through. Hmm. Hmm. And the mustache is back. Thank God we missed it. Mustache is back. Uh uh oh. God. Save it for TikTok. Um, I have to uh, first let me give you an excuse my grandfather is dead is a great one Thank if, you. especially if he's already dead he right. still lives on because you keep using an excuse uh, I would have come in using uh, daylight savings time definitely a good one right definitely daylight savings time from three years ago yes. has still been screwed up yeah I, and you know a great scapegoat in that situation is to blame the farmers because aren't yes. they in charge of daylight? It's like right. the harvest gets screwed up or something. My middle name is Monsanto. Investigate that. Ooh. <laughs> that was my grandfather's name. That's his, Well, he's Italian. <laughs> yeah, Carlito Monsanto. Car- Carlito Monsanto. Yeah, from Sicily. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You daylight killed my saving. farmers. I would have used daylight savings. Daylight savings and then no one. one will look into that. It's Nobody. confusing. The farmers have a hold on that. It's something with the crops. My audition went over. I was in an audition. It went over. Easy, plausible. That's a good one. Couldn't, couldn't, I was in the middle of the audition. Right. Couldn't text. Right. So I was auditioning for a guy who makes up excuses about being late. That was the audition. Wow. Technically true. That is fantastic, Rich. Yes. Because you're able to like... The rubber really meets the road there, and you're not really lying about it. And then it. I could say it's also for Goodyear, which yeah. is rubber meeting the road. Rubber meeting the road. That's right. Call back. Too early for a tire joke, Shannon? Never. I am feeling some energies when I walked in, because right. I hate Cold me. shoulder? I f- I'm Did hating... you get the cold shoulder from the girls? But don't worry, booth? ladies. You can't hate me more than I hate me. We don't hate you, Rich. I hate me. <laughs> but Shannon was ready in case you decide to shovel the blame onto her. She had the text. She printed it out. <laughs> she got it notarized. I know that you knew text at 4 p.m. Thank God you didn't come in and try to lie about it because it would have been humiliating in front of our fans, Rich. It would have been really humiliating if I would have had to call you out, which I would have done because everybody's doing that now for clicks. So I would have had to call you out, call out culture, and expose you, which would have been the name of the clip. Rich Aronovich exposed, Mm -hmm. you know, for for lying, which is also uh, used to be a worse thing. Now it seems like everybody kind of just takes it on the chin. Yeah. So on the um, chin. I had a birthday. I'm officially an elder. You're elder now. So, um, Grandpapa. uh, Yeah. You're yes. my papa. I had a birthday. Mike papa. When you were late, I was like, I don't know how long I have to wait. My prescriptions. <laughs> and uh, I got some very nice messages on the YouTube premiere. Um, a lot uh, wishing me a happy birthday. I did not have time to respond as I was being whisked off to birthday celebration after birthday celebration. And um, But I want to address them now because the fans deserve to have a voice. You deserve a voice. And if you're saying happy birthday to me, I will echo that. Mm-hmm. But if you're saying I'm, I am suck and I'm a hack, I will keep mm-hmm. that under wraps and I will hide it. Mm-hmm. Keep talking. Mm-hmm. What is that? That's for He's a Jolly Good Fellow. There's no, you can do that legally in movies, oh. podcasts, and clicks. 
but you can't sing happy birthday. So while you were going, it's my birthday, I'm humming. But isn't that. That nobody can deny. But you know what I can deny? The what? fact that you're calling me a fellow. Um, for he's a jolly good for fellow. For they's are for jolly they good fellow are, people. Or something else that for I might they select. identify as turtles. Right. For they are something that uh, You have to find out what it is. Birthdays, whether they're black, white, gay, straight, LBGTQ plus community. Yeah, and we need another song. We and do. that's a good start to for it. For they are jolly good hue persons. You can't say human. Human, you, you can't say human. Why can't you say human? Because there's man and human. God, Darn, it got us on that, that one. That did. So Hugh Purse, you can't so say free, son because yeah. it could be Hugh Purse daughter, right? Hugh Purse da, Perso, but yeah, you can't say because there's son. So persona the non grata. But then if you what go about Latin? Then yes. people can't dispute that because no one speaks different languages. And you know what they say? Once you go Latin, you go right back to blaming your grandfather. Okay, well, let's look at some of these because they were very touching, Shannon. I don't know if you went to the. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it. I can't okay. make it bigger. Than we this. can't rethink. Good thing Rich has his glasses. <laughs> I have my glasses. Okay. Hope you had a great birthday. This episode was another gift of us. We love and appreciate you. Okay, that's Adam Honorkamp, who is one of our best. Adam, He's one. What a great name. He's in St. Louis. He's one of our finest low-income whites. Sounds like the, the most fun concentration camp out there. Honor camp. Are you going to the Honor camp? Honor camp. We have a slide for your jewels. Whee! Which, that is top-notch to make fun of one of our best fans' names. Uh, yeah, because he is a boss. Um, but he has an electric bike. He was telling me when I was in St. Louis, I was talking to him about his electric bike. And I was like, that's so typical of our fans to be so lazy that their exercise equipment is motorized. <laughs> So, I don't know, but Honor gets, Camp, you're you the know best, what? man. You're the best. He supports us you uh, God wholeheartedly. Bless. Here's another with his, one. With his um, electric bike, and he does live in his, uh, he lives in a basement. He's Adam, our, you're, you're the man. I he think. is. You're a Honor Camp. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, baby daddy, says, Vanna God bless White's you. baby daddy. What? Vanna White's baby daddy. Oh, sorry, Vanna White's, but my glasses are not up to date. <laughs> Blame my grandfather. God bless you, my brother Mike. Yeah. I didn't know you had a sister. I do have a sister. You're related to Vanna White? Hands off. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Uh, Van, what's, what's, I can't Vanna see Vanna White's baby daddy. Vanna White's baby's daddy. Thank you so much for that. Rebecca. That was my special day. Rebecca Dunn, with an E, says, my weekly baby formula update. Thank God for you, Mike Vecchione. You're doing the Lord's work. Okay, because we didn't let that go. Baby formula is still a hot topic, and guess what? It's first on the agenda. Once we get through all this, these ba birthday well wishes, we're gonna go right back at baby formula because it's the po the um the police, the press never followed up about whether it solves or not. And all these babies are out there, and every time I see one on a plane, they're crying, and I just wonder where we are with the baby formula. You have a baby. Um, my I have an artist formerly known as a baby. <laughs> okay, he's now identifying as a toddler. All right. He's two. Um, what's his, uh, is his name just the sign for pie? His, na his name is, his name is 3.1415, etc., etc. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the, we've got to get through All right. these Okay, well happy wishes. birthday, Mike. May God bless you with a hundred more healthy years so you can keep making some eps, of course. That's from... Ramel Belza? Am I saying that wrong? Uh, uh, Ramel Baiza? Ramel, thank Ramel. you so much. Ramel, that's a Ramel, great name. Ramel, that's a great name. Um, or if I was going to say it to intimidate Rich, Rommel. <gasps> Ooh, I'm the, so intimidated. The Desert Fox. Oh, a Desert Fox. WW2? WW, what would foxes do? Well, thank you so much for that. In 100 years, I don't know, that's a um, long time, but I am in um, really good health. So, 100 <laughs> years is feasible. I mean, of healthy years. Yeah, yeah. healthy years. I'll, st I'll still be kicking it. Probably Speaking have a healthy. Hat Shannon, hat like that. can you read these? Because I'm having. Yes, <laughs> I'm like leaning over. Um, I'm having a hard time. J Rich was trying to make up for being late, and he was really <laughs> straining his I was, eyes. I was. And Shannon, yeah. you just let him do it. I like, like the way that you. She's like, give this late person glaucoma. He deserves it. He wrote down four thirty for no reason at all, <laughs> other than I'm dumb. I just felt like you really wanted to read them, so I didn't want to take it from you. 
Yeah. Uh, next one is Barfy Man 360. Barfy Man 360. <laughs> oh, I love. He's like barfing in a circle. Yeah, he's circular crazy. barfing. You're barfing in a 360 circle, right where barfing. you started. Barfing Man 360. What did he have to say, Shannon? He, he says, "I can't read, but I, but I am hoping Principal Mike can change that." Happy birthday, Mr. Vicky. All right, thank you. I mean, people really get it when I talk down to them. And Shannon, you get mad at me, mm-hmm. and Rich ca- is kind of indifferent because he doesn't care about our Gentile fans. But I love them and I love talking down to this guy gets it you can't read but you can always make yourself better thank you for the birthday wish uh, fats McGats. Yes. if I'm in that room for the 20 minute movie pitch that's an immediate green light for one film and options for up to nine sequels Whoa. okay he was doing because we did movie pitches a last lot of week. them yeah <laughs> we were doing a lot of Hollywood stuff I'm sorry you weren't in for that one that Rich. would have been my episode yes <laughs> guy <laughs> shows up late with no excuses right let's not make it a rerun <laughs> Wait, okay. that's, a, that's a TV show. Yes. I'm out of the room. Uh, Miles says, happy birthday, Mike. Mm. Uh, Love me some Miles. Not Miles Davis. No. He's with my grandfather. <laughs> uh, Smutly Butcher. Yes, Smutly. Oh, good old Smutly. <laughs> Smutly. Smutly. He says, Mike is the best. Lewis, get him on LOS pronto. Jeremiah Watkins, get, Watkins, get him on Scissor Bros when he's next in L.A., more people need to be made aware of how funny this man is. Yes, I don't go on that many podcasts. Why don't you do? It? I don't know. I would. I would. I mean, I don't I, have that much time, first of all. But I really should. I mean, make a play for it. Well, I think you're going to live a hundred more years, so I think you do have more time. Yeah, I do. I have a lot more time now. Yeah, that was clean a, bill of health. Clean bill which of health. Is pe- something people are saying now. Clean bill of health. Let me investigate. Clean bill of health. Thank you. Oh, you kind of do have a doctor quality. With that pipe. Uh, yes, I, I believe your bill is clean. However, you do owe some money, so that bill is not so clean. Copay? Yeah. Are you Co- talking copay? Uh, we're talking copay. Yes, indeed. Copay, yes. Um, Shannon, is that it? Um, we're just reading birthday wishes, right? Yeah, well. I, or uh, can you get to the juicy ones, comments. Shannon? <laughs> Uh, Did anybody th- slip into my DMs, Shannon? Are there's... I can't see that. Oh, that's neither. your personal And stuff. I can't hear my headphones. Jack them up, girlfriend! Okay. That should be better. I can't believe that no one slipped into my DMs. Did they not? Did you check? In my uh, Instagram, but yeah. that's my personal account. I'm talking about the... Um, on YouTube? Mike Vecchione. Can you slip into someone's DMs on YouTube? I don't, I don't no, think so. You can't. Uh, it's s- impossible, or they would have. Right. So oh, yeah, there's have... no DMs to slide into. No. Sliding in is that that's what... You could cannonball into the comments. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can cannonball All into right. the comments. Sliding into the DMs, cannonballing into the comments. That cannonball into the comments. Uh, cool. Sylvia Wood says, "I hope you're having a great birthday." Thank you, Sylvia. Fats Magats added on to his previous comment and said, "And belated happy birthday." With Thank you, balloon. Fats Magats, for remembering. Why wow, he really loves you. Yeah, and cut the cholesterol, Fats Magats. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're not going to live very long if We're, you keep yeah, you're not going to high fat. Let I, me look at you. His fat because you do not have a clean bill of health. You must eat more fish oil and vitamin D. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And then one last one. It's a I don't know what the name is. It's like Z one, Z two, Z three, Z one. Oh my! Oh yeah, I know that person. <laughs> That's binary. And That's they just very say binary. Happy birthday in all caps. Yes. Like he's like he or she they are yelling. At you. Yes, I love that. Happy birthday! I love that. I love our um. Emotional fans, you know. Happy birthday! Yes, I love that. So that's uh, thank you to all the for the YouTube premiere and for all of the listeners across the globe. Gas Digital is uh, goes across the globe. So thank you for listening and thank you for tuning in. And I've been plugging this on the road to anybody who will listen, Shannon. That this is the best kept secret on the Gas Digital Network. It's the best kept secret, really, in terms of podcasts. You have to tune in. We work very hard to make this. It's a meat and potatoes podcast. We really give it to you. We come ready to ready to go, Rich, and you've come ready to go. I mean, I came, came ready, late, late, late and ready. Yeah, that's my that's my album cover. Late and ready. Late and ready. It's like hot and juicy. <laughs> hot and juicy. Hot and juicy. Are you late w- and ready? When does the merch come for that? Oh, late and ready. It's, hot it's, and juicy. Are you gonna put late and ready on your shirt and hot and juicy on your uh, backside? Well, it was supposed to be here yesterday, but it's late and not ready. <laughs> That's more of a wah, wah, wah. Shannon only knows one. Shannon, do we have other? Do you um, have a wah, wah, wah? She's Googling wah, wah, wah right now. (laughs) Okay. Well, we've got to get 24 minutes in, and we've just done the entry.
Ooh, that was very, oh. very melodic. Better late than never. Oh. That's my shirt that I'm going to wear. Better, Better late, late than never. And I'm going to have a, uh, another one that says, nope, not today. Can I tell you? I, I was that one. searching for um, Of Color Friday deals. Mm -hmm. And um, when I do. You, because do you, Black Friday is. We don't a, say that. We word. don't say it anymore. We say Of Color Friday. Of Color Fridays. And I was looking for graphic t-shirts and uh, that one I didn't find. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't find Nope, Not Today? Nope, Not Today. Satan, I found. Oh. Uh, it's either Nope, Not Today or Whoop, There It Is. Nope, I'm going to wear today. that on the weekends. Sa that sounds like a... Whoop, there it is. Uh, whoop, whoop, there it is. is. Whoop, there it is. God, that gets you ready for the weekend. I'm doing it. Let's I'm go. I'm ready to go Friday for the weekend. through Sunday. God, I'll wear that to Fridays and a black hole will open up. Wow. Whoop, where it is if you wear it to Fridays. Whoop, there, there, there it is. is. Um, that and I'm gonna get another one that says, "Of course, where's the beef?" That's mandatory. That's standard. <laughs> where's the beef? That's <laughs> Where? you know we could investigate some of the greatest campaigns of all time. Yeah, that's definitely up in the top five. Yeah, oh, that's number one. That's got to be number one, right? I saw an interesting documentary. Speaking of investigating, mm. started watching it on Netflix about Pepsi giving away a jet. <laughs> This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. They, yes. they put it in a commercial yeah. as a joke, right. and I will quote, but they didn't do any fine print. And they said if you have, I think it was some million dollar of Pepsi points, right. you get a, a seven, seven million Pepsi points. Right. You and you're a, also a pilot. You don't know. They didn't, oh, they didn't okay, say that. Right. There's no I fine print. That. I would have been on the fine print. I would have been like, if you get 7 million Pepsi points and you're also a trained pilot who went through the military and now you have a updated pilot's license, yeah. then you can have the jet. Right. And there, and there's a dude who's like, I'm getting this jet. Yeah. Partners up with someone. And the next thing you know, I had to pause because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm late to the podcast. So I'll let you know next time i'm on what happens right well you're in the middle of watching a documentary yeah that's what happens wow i thought you were like wah, wah, wah. i thought you were raising your son or something well, i was that under the too. impression that you were raising your son he was sick for three days we investigated no covid no pneumonia no influenza no what's the new one um RSV. omicron no not omicron and fitch what was the other one RS esp rsv RSV monkey pox monkey pox no monkey pox no, you can't say that anymore you can't M pox okay you just you can't say monkey pox? but what does m stand for i can't tell you yeah <laughs> you can't okay. say monkey right. pox no you can't why um shannon they say it's you get it's canceled offensive to yeah. who monkeys <laughs> maybe maybe yes you, you think the primates are going can to be you still protesting say monkey, can you still say monkey business shannon i don't know m business and business. Wait, is there? There's nothing. I don't. I'm very afraid to ask. Investigate more about yeah, this. Yeah, so am I. Because it can get very, very. But read it, Shannon. Read, read why it. you get in then, trouble, yeah. not me. No, no, she's not going to get in trouble. The newspaper will get in trouble. Okay. Uh, oh, she's on. googling. This could take a while because all <laughs> of her search bar is hotprisoners.com, incarcerated for cash dot net. Rich, you look like you look like a guy who um, you look like a Google. You look like Google. <laughs> it's like Google, and it's like one man. It's like you. I would be yeah, you do look like Google. You look like Jeeves. So it says monkeypox is more than just a misnomer. Mm -hmm. Many experts say the word evokes racist stereotypes, reinforces offensive tropes about Africa as a perilous, pestilence-filled continent, and abets the kind of stigmatization that can prevent people from seeking medical care. Oh, wow. What if they called it hot lesbian sex pox? <laughs> Then everybody would be getting that vax. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rich, what you said is very problematic. I'm for I don't know why, but it is. Maybe because of this hat and pipe? Yeah. Hot lesbian sex pox. <laughs> monkey pox. Um monkey pox. You can't say I didn't, monkey. but I because it, it came from Africa. But M pox means it means that. So why wouldn't you just change the name? I think we should call it the Washington Commanders. <laughs> pox. <laughs> <laughs> Washington Commanders pox. Oh my god. Oh, our football fans who have uh CTE got that one. <laughs> okay, um it took I'm me sorry. a minute to get CTE no, that, I a lot have, of our fans. Probably, probably. Now I've got CTE because it's yeah. every minute to get CTE. Well, you dress like you do have it. 
Okay, we've got to get to some investigations now. Enough. 29 minutes in, Shannon. And we are off the rails. And Rich was late. We had to improvise, which is a comedic term. A lot of you don't know how to do. It's, uh, you know, a lot of us have crowd work clips that we're putting up. Improvise. And we had to do it on this podcast. And Rich was late. He came in with no excuses. He threw himself on the mercy of the investigation. I really did. And we were able to get through it as I was thanking people for my birthday and all of the places that I've traveled to entertain low-income whites. The first story, I buy formula for my babies and other moms are outraged when they see it. This is the baby formula story that you guys have all been waiting for. It's a follow-up. We don't let stories drop on this podcast. And when John Hinckley Jr. finally does come to Albany, me, Rich Aronovich, and the other drug addicts from the Gas Digital Studio will be there. Lighters in the air, ready to light up some illegal fireworks to celebrate. Shannon, what's this story about? Where are we in this baby formula shortage? <laughs> so this is, um, I hate to tell you this, this is a little bit of a clickbaity title. What? what? <laughs> so it says that this woman is posting videos of herself on TikTok, and she's got a lot of backlash because she's giving her babies powdered formula. However, the word babies is in quotation because she's giving formula to fake babies. What? You can share this picture. It's a... Uh, so yeah. Oh, dead a fake baby. She's feeding the formula to fake baby dolls. Right. Wow. I want to investigate what happened to her. How desperate and sad are you? First of all, purchasing a ba- fake baby. Right. Fake formula. Creating all this hubble blue on the internet. Is it a fake baby, Shannon? Is it a baby doll? Is it human trafficking? <laughs> Is it a cabbage patch? Do you doll? want to watch Is... the video? Um, I guess. If we have. Is it going to be helpful? I think it's just going to be her feeding, uh, being a crazy person. Okay, well, let's, the let's, watch. We can, let's watch because we'll get we outraged, watch. Rich. One, one tub, tub of formula. formula. And two tubs of formula. So we got them as well. Oh, I've got my accent. Next in Primark, we got this little bra and knicker set. There is some on offer at the moment for Knickers. three and they were six. So go and get some if you really want to. And also got this one. This was also three pounds. Shannon, is this QVC or <laughs> are, are, waiting are we for the selling outreach? babies? Is this the human trafficking network? It also says bride because I'm my husband. I don't oh. know why they included oh. this. God, it was clickbait, video. Shannon. We oh got tricked. It was click. It was twice. clickbait within clickbait. It was, it was yeah. double clickbait. It was double clickbait. Wow. It was clickbait inside clickbait. Very but clever. Very clever. Fake baby she has formula s- several fake babies and also she's years. british and she's this british. is why Meghan markle took them down is because of stuff like this and they were not nice to the elephant man i told those two things against uh britain they were not nice to him they were not nice to him at all they were like get back into the circus ugly and i was like hey he's a man well, he died. He died if I an man or an elephant. Which one is it? We, we, uh, feed him some baby formula. Maybe it'll get better. If you were the elephant man, Rich. Yep, I, mean, uh, very, I am the elephant no, man. No, you're very handsome. Okay. Don't let's... say it. You're very uh, handsome. Okay. I'm not going to let you do All that. All right. I won't go down the shame spiral that I've been in since I've been late. Yeah. No. I'm climbing you out. You are very, very handsome. That you can hang your goofy hat on. Um, you're a very handsome guy. But if you were the elephant man and you were trying to hit on a woman... And uh, this is not the Richard Jenny bit that I'm referring to. Richard Jenny had a whole bit about it. It was pretty oh, really? great. Oh, it's hilarious. But would you say, yes, I'm the elephant man, but also from the waist down? Would you I, say I would definitely go with that. And I would say, uh, I have to pleasure you. Look at me. I have no choice. Right. I, yes. Right. Just close your eyes. And then I would start singing, close your eyes. The elephant man is going downtown to make your pleasure center extra spicy. <laughs> I hope you're not late like I was on the podcast. Because if you're late, it means we're going to have an elephant baby. Um, just another random joke. Uh, the elephant man didn't make any money because they paid him uh, peanuts. Okay. All right. I love the pain The pain that you told God, that it's with. just awful, but I have to do it for our low-functioning fans. I have to do it. They expect it, and they need it. That was very punny. Thank you. Still can't hear. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's down. Oh, no. All right, whatever. 
Do you hear at all or just low? I hear a little bit. Yes, I hear. But now I just hit the volume thing and I feel much better. You can control your own volume, Rich. I I can. We're a big thing on letting people control themselves. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Solved. (laughs) I investigated. You investigated and you found the answer. I found the answer. You're hearing hearing impaired. It was a knob. (laughs) Yes, I had to push it up. Yes, indeed. Um, Well, I'm outraged by the clickbait of that. So she feeds her fake baby real baby formula and then it goes into the fake baby and can't she drain it out the bottom and then just reuse it and save it instead of buying new baby formula the whole time or if she put it through the baby and it was like a purifier and then went into um a actual baby's mouth i mean i'm just thinking of green ideas to kind of recycle the baby formula so that an actual baby can benefit from it don't look at me like that as a uh, parent, because no, no. uh, I know you're functioning as a parent no, right no, now, no, no, no. and I don't have kids, and you're getting accusatory on I me. I am not getting accusatory. I'm getting investigating of what the desperation and need for attention. I'm like, lady, if you're that desperate, get on a podcast, do stand-up, dance in weird outfits. Don't bring children into this. Yeah. Rich, because that's what you do for our fans who, who for, the, for those don't who don't know, I'm the I I'm on a podcast right now. I do stand up and I dance around in weird outfits because I am that desperate. But I will not exploit the fake. You babies. are not taking baby formula and feeding it to a fake doll. I Rich. won't do You're that. Not doing that's that. my bottom line. That's your bottom line. That's it. You will make people feel uncomfortable by dancing, doing sexual dances around them. But it's and not gyrating. clickbait. It's not clickbait. No, it's not. You cl- know what you're getting. You know what you're getting. You're like, hey, this guy looks like a melted candle dancing around, desperate and sad, but at least we know what we're getting. Right. And you're not wasting formula. Zero formula wasted. Because Snorted all formula, that formula. If the f- Wait a minute. Wait a second. If the formula gets wasted, um, women, independent, high-functioning women like Shannon and Natalie are going to have to use their breast milk to feed other people's babies. We're, we're all one community. It takes a village. It does I believe take a it village. was Hillary Rodham Clinton who said it takes a village and Shannon's and Natalie's breasts will be for up for the community. It was if we Maya don't rectify this. Maya Angelou said you should only give breast milk to your own baby. You can give breast milk other people's breast milk. You can. Absolutely. You can. Yes. It's uh, the law of transference. It is. I you believe t- it was Edison. I believe it was Edison. Uh, fun fact, a baby's sight is from nipple to face. Wow. Yep, that's their sight. Wow. But what if they're on the in a pouch attached to the front of the body? Like a little ornament. Then they're fake. Fake and babies? Fake babies. Those are fake. Are you the- calling fake a, a real baby attached to a, a person a fake baby? I am. That's that's real news. That's real fake news. Real fake news. Shannon, what were you going to say? I didn't mean to cut off a woman, which is illegal apparently now. <laughs> uh, just that some of the comments that people wrote under her TikTok video, yeah. some of them were actually very understanding in a way. Right. One person says, keep the tin, wash it out, and use milkshake powder or powdered milk. Don't take supplies from the babies that need it. So instead of saying you're a crazy person yeah. and why are you feeding anything to your babies, she's saying do it once right. and then reuse the tin. You know what you nice. could feed uh, fake babies? Turpentine. That cleans them out because <laughs> yeah. they're wooden. Yeah. Those babies are made of wood. Yeah, you could stain them and then they have more chance of getting a scholarship. <laughs> yes, indeed. That was right. <laughs> Rich. What? Um, I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Mike, I don't um, think they make babies out of wood anymore. Don't they? <laughs> no. Well, I'm sorry. I just had a birthday, and I was raised in the 40s when you could get <laughs> splinters from a baby. Do you sleep in separate breads from your wife? Yes, I do. <laughs> and we all have uh, full um, um, elegant pajamas that we use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you read your newspaper in the evening. Yes. Before you retire. That's right. And she goes, I do say, I made you this pie. <laughs> okay. Well, my point has been made here. This woman is, and a lot of people went after her in the comment, Shannon, commenting on her mental health, and they were really going after her. And then somebody stopped and went, hey, a little compassion for the mentally disturbed. Do you have compassion for the mentally disturbed, Rich? I am mentally disturbed. Yes. So So you have compassion for your people, the mentally disturbed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who's going to say no to that? Yeah, who's going to say no to that until these mentally disturbed people are wasting valuable resources for our children our children have to go hungry because you went goofy is that real our fans deserve to know rich i was doing a dramatic pause okay 
I agree. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's an Omicron. Um, let's move on from this. Wow, that w- did spark a lot of outrage with me, Shannon. I, I almost lost it. I almost fake lost it there. <laughs> let's move on to something sexier. Hottest firefighter winner vows, I will remain loyal to saving lives. And you know what? This one got my goat because she is a smoke show. And she's also a firefighter. Those are natural. The by hair? The, way. the hair is not natural. The ha- oh, oh, you were looking at the. I'm sorry. I don't look at those. No? I do not look at those. Married man? Well, no, those are for children. Do you respect first responders more from looking at this picture? She's very sexy. Uh, it, uh, to be honest, it yeah. makes me want to light myself on fire. Yeah, it does. Oh, my God. Wow. She I zinga is, boom ba wow. dang dang. And she's from, she's also German. And he, ah, yes, I can see the turkey is done. <laughs> she doesn't believe in wearing a bra. It obstructs I'm feminism. I'm sorry. I was looking at the saxophone. I didn't notice. Okay, she also plays a musical instrument. She's talented. She's um in the she, brass section. She's in the breast. Oh, I mean the brass section. Whoopsie daisy. Get your mind out of the gutter. She does not wear a bra. I don't know what... um. Cup, she would be there. She's yeah, holding a coffee could, cup. I, you know, I want to investigate cup. if they're she's real just or like not. us. There, she's holding a she's coffee just, yeah, cup. Yeah, she's just like, hey, she's just one of us. I mean, I that's she what has I do. Coffee in the morning too, I just like coffee. you and me. Yeah, and I'm also sexy, and I could put out fires. Also, she works for a volunteer department, <laughs> and I could do that too, and I could be sexy too. And she has a great haircut, and she poops just like us. Yes, she makes noises. She gets on there with the newspaper, and goes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But look at that next to the truck. Look at that. If she shows up to your fire, Pink what do you do? Pink shoes and all, ready. If, now, if she, I would fake a cat that needs to be saved just to keep her around. Yes. Save keep my cat. Keep her around. And I would make these That's noises. It's a script writing book. Um, wow. This one wow. is, I think she's doing this on purpose. She's pulling her shirt up so that we can see the bottom half of her um, breasts. I thought she was hungry and wanted to have some sweatshirt for a snack. That's another plausible um, conclusion, Rich. Maybe she likes... But you're being, dare I say, you're being a little bit naive right now. I think maybe... She's... Oh, tr- yes. boy. Oh, my God. She does... It doesn't say boy. her... It doesn't say, calm yourself, Rich. This is, we have to remain objective These are yoga, this investigation. These are yoga pants. She I has yoga every, pants on. I can see everything. Look at her. You can see she's not shaved. She's a Libra. She has a good relationship with her cousin named Edward. She, Rich... We don't know her situation. I've read this article over and over and over and over <laughs> again. And I'll tell you something right now. We don't know her situation. Does she have a boyfriend? Does she have a girlfriend? Is she bilingual? Is she bisexual? Does she go to gender neutral bathrooms? We don't know anything about her. Can she keep a secret? Yes. That's a good thing to know about someone. Quality of friendship. You'd be like, hey, but was there can't... a fire in the area? She's like, I cannot tell a lie. Yeah. She's German? She's German. Ah, oh, man. Fire and Jews and Germans. There's something going on here. Right. I can't remember oh my. what that Were would you going to say, oh, my? I was going to say, oh, my. Makes us all a little bit of pyromaniacs on that one. Pyromaniacs do light fires for fun. Arsonists do it for money. Do you hey, know the difference? Uh, Shannon, you do you have something. any kerosene and some matches? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I'm bringing next week. Kerosene and some matches? That's what I'm bringing next and week. And then... Um, the local firefighters show up and you'll be get away, uglies. Yeah, they're We're yes. flying in a special team from Germany to put this fire out. That's right. I'm gonna light the ocean on fire. Ow. So she uh she won the Venus Award for a sexy saxophone performance. Oh my god, at, that is a very <laughs> special award. At Germany's number one erotic fair. Okay. Where she revealed that she plans on taking her talents on tour. So maybe you guys will have a chance to see her. Hopefully she can open for John Hinckley Jr. in Albany. <laughs> yeah, and I'll change my name to Reed. So I could be in the saxophone. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yes, I get it, it too. <laughs> Our low-functioning fans didn't get that didn't one. Get Rich thanks, is very high level. Thanks for explaining my creepy Okay, joke. so um, you know what? I read the comments, Shannon, and a lot of people were like, she's not a fire. I wouldn't. And then people were like, I bet she can't handle my hose. A lot of people were saying What? They use this hose can handle my hose. What? <laughs> Okay, so a lot of people were saying that. They were taking shots at her. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that she's an adult film star, Shannon. Is that true? This <gasps> is all a ploy. Um, let me look that up. Oh. Because Oh, no, no. Let me look that up <laughs> in my private booth. Why am I banned from lotion in this building? There's lotion in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, there is? Yes. I'll be back in 14 seconds. 
And there's also another bathroom for people who actually have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> She's the hottest firefighter. She, uh, certainly, She's the yeah, hottest that firefighter, I've Rich, that I've ever seen that I've ever in my seen. life, male yeah. or female. Yeah, she, And I think she could do the job. Yeah, come on, baby, light my fire. So she, she does, there is a page with her name yeah. on xhamster.com. Xhamster? I just don't. Never heard of that website. <laughs> That's not in my search history. What are you talking about? I just can't tell if it's. Well, look. If it's her or not. I don't know. If look and share the screen. Okay. I can share the screen if you want. I can Is it, it filthy? After. Yeah. Okay. We can't skip. Okay. We can't do that. <laughs> Our fans Sorry, can't handle they that. Can't ha- you can Our fans watch enough porn on their own. You they can, don't need you us blur it out. injecting them with more. Oh, I have to do research on my own. Oh, I feel like it's not her. Do you want me just to show it and I'll blur it in, in when it airs? Yeah. Okay. So you can share this. This is who it's saying she is, but I feel like that's not her. With a haircut? This good. This look. The girl's face looks different. Yeah. I don't. That's not her. Mm, that's mm, not that her. That does. Maybe it's. Just oh, that's though. No, that's a black guy. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. And it also says maybe it's a, maybe it's a common German name. Right. And it's also she's a firefighter, not a milf boss. <laughs> so what's um, her name? What's her name in the firefighting community? Oh, I just have this name. Is it Anika? Anika. Anika Aquino. That was her. Yeah. Yeah, the name matches. That's, yeah. That's how well, I then it's got to be her. <laughs> that's how I searched it, Rich, for their name. Yeah, that's you know how what? She... I investigated, you're investigating. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, now that I have no blood in my head, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Shannon, how could you do that to us in the mid, <laughs> mid-episode? I am triggered. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm triggered. There was some hot stuff on there. Thank God it's going to be blurred for our fans who are <laughs> under, please. I think some of my jokes should be blurred. I think some of them I'm thinking about. I'm like, I should Aren't have they? said that. I should have said that. Um, the next one hits home. I'm not going to lie to you. Intermittent fasting linked to higher risk of death. Now, they've gone after us. The intermittent fasting Wait community. Wait a minute, really? They've gone after us. They're, go- they're, going at- they're saying intermittent fasting is bad. And I'm saying who's, it's not. Who's saying that? The community. Purdue? Yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken, Taco L, the snack people, Rich, the snackers, the snack people want us eating in between meals. The snack people, the chip companies, the chip Frito Lay. Me- yes, you don't want to mess with Big Chip. They will go after you. Big Chip, do not. They just mess keep with- adding stuff to the chips. It's sour Dorito, cream and onion. It's barbecue. Nacho. You don't need a dip. It's the dip is the chemicals Cajun. are built into the actual chip, Rich. Remember the Alestra? Alestra? Yeah, Alestra. Yeah. Made you not poop and poop at the same time? <laughs> two bodily functions. The two bodily can't functions. Can't be wrong. War with each they other. They cancel. They, they cancel each other out. Speaking of cancel, can we go back to that previous article? <laughs> I closed it. I'm sorry. Damn. Close for. <laughs> close for business. So, close for business. So what's the story with the intermittent fasting? Shannon, what's the story with intermittent? Why is it so bad? I've lost a ton of weight. Our fans can't stop commenting on how hot I've become. You look svelte. Yeah. They're like, is Justin Silver doing this podcast now? Because you look sexy. I mean, look at this I guy. I was the fat one on the podcast. I was the fat friend. Now when I'm we the had fat a friend. I mean, look yeah. at you. If you walked over great, you'd disappear. I could dental floss God, with you. I'm Jeez so Louise, you're so lean skinny. And skinny. If People... you had my hair, I would use you as a toothbrush. Let's go, skinny boy. People cannot stop commenting. I can't stop. On how sexy God, I become. So sexy. So, and it's so all sexy. from intermittent fasting. It must be the intermittent fasting. Shannon, why is it bad? And why are they persecuting our community? Okay, so it looks like one of the reasons is, it says, published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. I the, trust it. The study determined that skipping breakfast is associated with a higher risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. Also, adversely affected, according to the researchers, were people who ate three meals a day, but at least two meals less than 4.5 hours apart. And oh. research revealed that individuals eating only one meal a day are more likely to die than those who had more daily meals. Uh, I'm trying to see if they actually say why that is. Yeah, why are we more likely to die? Oh, it's just from- as researchers said that what? missing meals led to people consuming more calories in a shorter period of time and that overloaded the body's metabolism with glucose and thus led to other metabolic issues. I think also you get hangry, you get more angry, you get more stressed... You start, and that, that stress is bad for you. Are you working for the snack company? Why are you asking you me those like... questions? See, that would be an example yeah. of hangry. Go ahead, try, let's try again. Let's role play. Um, 
Why are you asking? I need a fire. Yeah, I thought we died uh, early because of uh, too much intercourse with models. Maybe that was why. Rich, are you distracted by what's going on in the other room? Yes, yeah, some, somebody. I, I Shan- thought some Shannon actually disappeared, died. I didn't know what happened, but then she reappeared. Oh, there's some shenanigans going there with Shannon. Shannon and Shannon shenanigans. Keeps dropping something and then picking it back up again. She's dropping it like it's hot. Speaking of hot, <laughs> there might be a fire. Call Germany. Rich, why are you so hung up on that? She was a first responder. Yeah. Okay. okay. So she would be the first one we call. Yeah. When there was a problem. She was so hot, though. She she was so hot, and you can't let it go. Should, I'm acknowledging. I mean, that she look, was she hot, gets there. The I've fire's like the I don't know story. who's hotter. The fire starts having a fire off. Who's hotter? The fire's like, hey, I'm a flame, and she's like, yeah, I'm a flame, and then they would go a little dance. Woo-hoo. Is that how German people talk? Yes, they do. It's a pretty good accent. I appreciate it. I mean, you've just electrified our um, East and West German fans. I'm pretending it's the '80s. <laughs> okay. One more, one more thing. Is yeah, one here. more uh, fact. <laughs> I'm the sorry. way that they're going to get us, Shannon, intermittently. <laughs> it says in 2020, researchers from the University of California at San Francisco found that those who intermittently fasted for 12 weeks only lost a half pound more than a group of people who ate normally. Okay, you know what? I'll just say it. I think fat people wrote this article. I think fat people wrote this article and they hate us because we're skinny and we've trained our minds to overcome hunger and to just get to the next meal and every day is a gift and we just have to figure out how to get to the next meal and they're trying to like accuse us of overeating and not living and it's like, oh, not eating breakfast is associated? Is the breakfast in the mafia? It's associated with something else? Is it a direct link or is it not a direct link? Not having breakfast is associated with what? Being sexy? Being functional the rest of the day? Getting a lot of stuff done? Being efficient? God, I hate this. Rich, where's your outrage? Oh. Could you find it for me, please, for, for views? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't want to not eat either. Are you one of these people who eats I, 12 meals a day? I, I can't eat on an empty stomach. Digest that for a second. Oh, my God. Wow. Rich, how many how many meals do you eat a day? I'll put you on trial. How many meals do you eat a day? Honestly? Yeah. Three to nine. Three to nine? Three to nine. Three to nine meals a day. You eat every time your kid eats. I, you I, have to feed him. You take an animal cracker. Animal crackers aren't real. Animal crackers, I'm just eating because he's eating. It's I'm raising my child. And you know what we do? Right? In the anim- Isn't that I'm, what you say? I'm just going to tell you this. I went through every single animal cracker and I took at all of the monkeys because it's an outrage that they are associated with pox. Monkey pox. That's it. M pox. M pox. We will not say monkey pox anymore. M pox. This M-pox. is the last episode. K pox. Let's move on. Okay. Um, so intermittent fasting, this article Bad. is fake news, and it was written by obese uh, haters who do not like our abs. You know what? I think Weight Watchers, yeah, might be uh, weighing in on this. <laughs> weighing in. Yeah, they are. They're the ones. They're the ones who are like, eat our food. You yeah. have to eat our food. Here's a point. Yeah, let's count God, points. It's like points, like it's some kind yeah. of a game. Really, Jenny Craig? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really, Jenny? Yeah. These it's and weigh in every week. Yeah, really, what paleo? What are you I paleo? A, yeah, am I a showgirl? Are you are you an Atkins? Am I a wrestler? Um, this one hits. Uh, I I know I'm saying these things hit close to home, but Jay Leno, I was on the Tonight Show. Um, jokes about being a roast comic and return to stage. He was burned. He was not burned by his fellows. No, he was burned in a car accident. He was burned. Uh, he wasn't burned by cancel culture. He was burned by an engine. Right. He wasn't burned by uh, his father-in-law. He was burned by an engine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He was burned by an engine. Shannon, do you have the details of this? Fifty-three minutes in. Well, I have the quote that they're referring to in yeah. the title. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "I never thought of myself as a roast comic." We have two shows tonight, regular and extra crispy. Okay, so this is great. <laughs> when something happens to you that's tragic, almost life-ending, and you come back and you're already riffing on it, that's the sign of a comic. You lean into it, you go for it. And that's why I respect Reagan after he's shot by Hinckley Jr. He starts joking with the doctors and says, I hope you guys are Republicans. And it got a laugh, and I respected Reagan ever since, and I respect Leno for leaning into it. Your thoughts, Rich, as a comic. As a comic, it reminds me of Richard Pryor. Yeah. 
and live this, yeah. at the Sunset Strip. Yeah. Where there were two shows that night, and he said he bombed the first one, and they shot it again, and they took the second one. That's so great. Isn't that great? In order to be good, it feels like you have to light yourself on fire. Pryor, Leno. It's like these guys are all had burns, like physical burns, and I think that makes you funnier. I, I Yeah, pain. If pain not, is funny. Well, if nothing else, after you burn yourself, you could call a German firefighter. I was going to say. Put you out. Um, I was uh, I was looking at the uh, German uh, newspaper, and I uh, you know just happened to light myself on fire. That's a great Leno. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so is Leno recovering, Shannon? Is there any news? About it's anonymous. That? It's anonymous. <laughs> it's anonymous. Yeah, he is doing much better. So initially, he suffered second and third degree burns from the garage gasoline fire that occurred two weeks ago. God, gasoline fires are the worst. Whoa. You have to put those out with rags or something. You can't put it out with water. It makes it worse. Right. I was always taught that growing up. That's good. And if you're ever being chased by a bear, you run downhill. Is that true? That is true. Never climb a tree. Always run downhill. Yeah. For some reason, my father gave me that information. We don't live near bears. <laughs> but what about the, what's the advice to zigzag? Is that alligators? That's alligators. Okay. And sharks, what do you know when you do sharks? Punch them in the face. Po- po- top of the nose or poke them in the eye? Top of the nose. That's top pretty of the nose. specific. It's top of the nose. Because if you go under, you'll lose your hand. They'll just chomp it off. Uh, um, sh- I heard sharks hate uppercuts. Well, they eat. They'll eat you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Um, you know, pick your poison. Um, if you say an inappropriate joke after the podcast, you say, hey, could you cut that out? No, no, no. Can I, you edit that out? No, I think that we should apologize for it on the next podcast first thing. Okay. Or have a clip apologizing for An it. apology, okay. Yeah, and then... I hereby would like to apologize for all the inappropriate things I've said and my tardiness. I have no excuse. I do apologize and will try to do better in the future. <laughs> Thank you for that, Rich. Thank you. The next one, veterinary student strips down in the nude uh, for a nude calendar for a good cause. I think that the this sparks an idea for me. This is a fire-heavy Ooh. podcast. But I think we should do... Hot a, comics. Yes. For comic relief yeah, or I'd, something. I'd, I'd like to have November. You want to do November? It's my birthday month. I'll do October. That's my birthday month. Okay, well, I think we not should Not trying have a, to one-up you. I think we should have a sexy calendar. Let's do it. We're going now? Okay, not right now, but oh. I think we need to work out and prepare for it. Our fans deserve better than what we have right now. Are you going to intermittent fast to get in I will shape? intermittent fast, and I will sacrifice my life, according to this article, in order to be sexy for the Gas Digital fans. You know what I'm going to do? What? Chase bears, chase alligators, and punch sharks in the nose. No uppercuts. <sighs> Veterinary students strip down. I love how you do we, can get do we naked. See, can we see the... But the... you get naked for a good cause, Rich. Well, you I need, need to get see naked it. for a good cause. How good is this cause? It's veterinary. It's animal health and well-being. We need to do something for these animals, and we need to get naked for them. How about okay? just stop eating them? No, that's not going to do it, Rich. There has to be a sexuality So to you it. have to take off their fur like a, one of those hairless cats yes. that look like a Make-A-Wish foundation and that was pulled through its asshole that's right. inside and out? Take it off slowly. For the cause. I'm a sexy cat. God, our fans love these sound effects. You know what? I am the white Michael Winslow. Police Academy 47. Not Fire Academy. Police Academy. Shannon, what's the deal with these, (laughs) these heroes, these veterinary students, who've decided to get naked for a great cause. I want to see the pictures. So the third year veterinary students got frisky in the shoot with strategically placed kittens, puppies, piglets, and horses. Piglets? <laughs> piglets? And frisky is a great word to use in an animal story. Yes, it's a it's nude animal frisky story. Frisky the cat? Yeah, because these animals, when you're naked, probably get frisky with your... Oh, with your junk. Well, yeah, with your genitalia. <laughs> like a cat has those claws. I don't like you calling it junk. <laughs> The ge- I don't, don't like, like that. I your take genitalia? A- I take offense to that. You like genitalia? Genitalia sounds, um, it sounds medical, but um, junk just sounds rich. I mean, it's like, where are we going with this? The human body is a gift. You're, you know what? In special no-no place? That's offensive, too. That's, that's at least a little bit fun. <laughs> it's a no-no place. You're special not, no-no place. You're not allowed to go there. Yeah. Um, how about, uh, what, what, what's another way? Um, peni? Okay, that's specific. That's specific. Yeah. Um, your reproductive area? All right, that sounds S- medical. Scientific. Right. Um, so, but Shannon, what was getting... People were getting frisky. So they're raising funds for the Australian Red Cross. 
the 2023 Sydney Uni or Uni? Uni. Uni. Uni vet nude calendar called Flash for Floods has become a highly anticipated yearly tradition. Last year, they raised $68,000 for the needy, including disadvantaged farmers. And this year, 44 students, student models stripped off their white lab coats to bear it all. So here's a, here's the boys. Okay. They've got nice backs. <laughs> oh, I like your big muscle. Here's the girls. Okay, but everybody gets naked from a distance, it seems. Yeah, I'm guessing we're, we're not going to see the fun stuff because it'll right. be in the calendar. Yeah. But yeah, and I think that like for each month, like they're covering maybe their privates with the animals. You know, you know what I like? A snake that bites your genitals during a calendar shoot. That, and I like that they're not like the um, the firefighters. These are like real looking, people. real women. Like when you go to a nude beach, it's not the firefighters; it's people like this, real people. Dove soap. That's it. You know, it's not dial. It's yeah. dove. I like it. I'm into I like it. it. I too. think it's great. These are real women. They're re- they're not fake. Give middle. birth during a calendar shoot. <laughs> Give birth. Take the umbilical cord. You're March. The umbilical cord is April. And you know what? If you use the um, fluids from the birth, it's good for burn victims. We covered that on a previous ep- episode. Yes. Embryotic. And see, I, re- I retain information. Yeah. You do retain information. Ooh, look at those puppies. Oh, I didn't notice there was naked people in it. And they're covering their genitalia with cute animals. You know what? I'm into this. I am into it too. I mean, I think that's we're the way, way too uptight in to this country. Save animals. Everybody needs to get a little more naked. Relax. But is this pro fur? Do you think? Do you think this is pro fur? Oh, let's shave these puppies down and use them as coats to cover ourselves. I, that's what my concern was. That's why the hairless cat community bothers me so much. Right. Because they don't have anything to offer. There's nothing to offer. And they look like it's a benefit. Every time you see a hairless cat, you're like, are we doing a benefit for cats with cancer? Do you like a naked woman better with a fun hat, Rich? Because those girls had fun hats They on. do have fun hats. I wouldn't mind a fun hat on a naked woman. Yeah. Why not? Do you think you would have to use a condom with somebody wearing a fun hat? Does a that go fun without ha- saying? A Jimmy hat with yeah. a fun hat. Yeah. Jimmy hat. Hat on hat. Hat on hat crime. Hunter accidentally shot dead by his own dog in freak accident. This one I love is this. sad. Oh, I mean, I'm just terrible. Hunter accidentally shot dead by his own dog. Oops. Okay, they're being cute in the calendar shoot, but then they take revenge in this next article. <laughs> God. These dogs, they're supposed to be your best friend, and then they shoot you. It's I, I, a little I, bit of Judas kind of a betrayal there, don't you think? Which just from just from the optics of the headline. I mean, I don't know Mel Gibson. I don't know. Didn't he do a whole thing about Judas and Jesus and Passion yeah. of the Christ? Passion of the Christ. Passion of the Christ. Very controversial yeah. movie, by the way. Don't recommend watching it on a flight. <laughs> okay. 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 Shannon, what's the deal with this? What's the deal with the dog? So this is, um, to make it even sadder, it's a new dad. Oh, oh. Be, dude. It was in Turkey over Thanksgiving weekend. There's no, that's not funny. It's not? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, because there's a little bit of, I believe I call it irony there. And I was tur- in Turkey over the summer. Turkey's a great place. Oh, and it was over Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like to me, Turkey at Hungary and Chile, it's a whole meal. <laughs> oh my God, Rich. It's a whole this meal. This is why we bring you in. That's it. We. This is why we bring you Turkey, in. Turkey, Chile, Hungary, Chile. Yeah. That's it. Turkey, Chile, Hungary. Why did this dog, I, first of all, how does a dog, dogs don't have thumbs, so there's a little problem yeah, right here. But they can for be me malicious. Under, dogs can be malicious. How could, what is it, how did it, how did it pull the trigger? All right, Shannon. Okay, so he said, uh, so he was out hunting, right. and he was outside of the car. It says he was reportedly putting his pet dog in the trunk of the car, when the dog's paw inadvertently touched the trigger of the still-loaded gun, causing the weapon to discharge into the sportsman at close range. And he died <sighs> relatively quickly. I, I mean, you know, I'm going to say the right wing of your fans are going to say, we need to start training dogs gun safety. That's what they're going to say. <laughs> they're going to say dogs need to be trained. Do you think a waiting period would have helped? I think a background check <laughs> on that pooch. A background check on the pooch. Oh, turns out the dog licks its own balls. <laughs> don't give it a gun. That's no. You don't give that dog a gun. I would say give that I dog. Give a, that that's dog, a well-adjusted. Yeah, that's a, that dog knows. That's how to, a very calm. He dog. knows his own body. He knows his own body. He's licking balls. He's 
Splugin in his ears. All what? right, Rich. What? Don't make it so graphic for How our did you, fans. I can't, why would you say that? A mo- another edit I'm going to ask for after the show. I have a question for this investigation. Yes, yes Shannon, sure. please. How do you a think... woman's point of view. Man exactly. being shot by his own dog. Mm. How do you think they came to the conclusion that he was shot by his own dog? He was by himself. Right. So they just found him there. Suicide yeah. by dog? Is that where you're going? I don't, but wh- the, how is that? If you found somebody with a gunshot wound right, in the woods, right. would you be like, oh, his dog probably shot him? Well, like, I mean, probably from the angle. They did forensic investigations or whatever, or unless this was in Scotland where they don't have cops. <laughs> I got to say, this story has more holes than the victim here. <laughs> if this was in Switzerland, there's a Swiss cheese joke to be made, but... <laughs> I, it's in I Turkey. It is. Oh, that's right. It was in Turkey. I'm gobbling this up. <laughs> Oh my God! We uh, would have done this story first, but we saved it for leftovers. Oh, I love the pain on your face. Don't own it. Don't be pained. Listen, Rich. It I is mean, making me a little real... tired. Are our dogs? If this is—is is this a narrative? Are our dogs after us now? They act like they're your best friend, then they shoot you when you're alone in the woods. This is a real issue, and we have to bring it to the fans. And if they incarcerate the dog and they let it out, everyone will be going, "Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who?" That's a great one, Rich. That's what that song is God. actually about. We found it. We got a. It's like a rebirth that happened on this podcast because that story was uh, bringing us down. And I was listening to Yacht Rock all weekend, Don't Bring Me Down. Don't the Bring electric, Me Down. Yeah, the Electric Light oh, Orchestra. Don't Bring Me Down. 1978. And I'll tell you what, it was Bring Me Down, but then we we saved it. We resurrected it with the Who Let the Dogs Out joke. Who? 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 Yeah, that's a big question. Who did let the dogs out? But I think this could be an ongoing narrative. Dogs are trying to kill their owners, and they have access to fire- firearms now. Now, question. And we don't know what amendment that is when a dog gets a gun. What amendment is that? Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a, it's not the, it, the second is human, so I, I don't know. I don't know what the second amendment... I don't know what the second amendment is in I dog know, years. It would be the second amendment's best friend. <laughs> That was so bad, you looked pained. Was, was it, it looks like you just got <laughs> shot by a dog. Gosh, I'm trying to make a couple jokes around here. Oh, my God, that was rough. That w- <laughs> God, I tried. This is a story Th- that keeps on giving. A man is lying dead in the woods. Can you throw me a his- bone? I'm trying over here. <laughs> Boy, this one was really a treat. Oh, my God. Was- <laughs> we didn't have to beg for it. <sighs> <laughs> Should I get up or should I sit? Oh, I'll play dead. Oh, my God. Oh, We've given the story our paw. And um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, the last line of the article does yeah. say some Turkish media outlets claim that he was actually murdered and that the dog excuse was simply a cover up. He was murdered by who? They don't know. They said they. They say. <laughs> <laughs> but yet he Murder didn't have nine lives. <laughs> God. Okay, our fans are upset with us. I think. You think so? Yeah, because the, we just kept punching them, and after you get punched so many times, it's like they're in pain from. They're laughing. in pain right now. Yeah, I they're in pain. Um. Wow. Well, I hope that guy. Um, <clears throat> Rests in peace in his uh, small house <laughs> in the sky with Jesus. Okay. All right. That's not. Let's get moving here. Um, uh, uh, let's do. Let's go to plugs and then let's come back and finish strong. Guys, uh, thank you for joining us on Mike Vecchio on Investigates. We give you the best show every week. If you're joining us from any of the cities that I was in, and I've plugged the show, and I've asked you to listen because we will um, fake investigate anything, and we will talk down to you. Those are the two promises that I guarantee on this show. Hmm. Investigate everything, not for real, but for fake, and then we will talk down to our low-income whites. So thank you for joining us in those cities that I said. Please tell a friend if you want to listen to this on the way to, um, you guys don't have jobs, so I guess to the um, store to get chips. So 
thank you for your support and for listening and for loving us. And we work hard to give you the best shows possible. At Comic Mike V on all social media platforms. MikeVecchione.com for dates. December 16th, I'm in Sicklerville, New Jersey. Valeris. Valaris? Valaris. It's Valaris is a um, space station. Valaris is an Italian restaurant in Sicklerville. Well, I will be December 16th. It's uh, not on my calendar, but December 16th, Valaris. Um, Vince Valentine, vv.com, vvcomedy.com, vvcomedy.com for tickets. So if you're in the Philly area, please come out to that December 16th, Valaris, uh, vvcomedy.com. Um, um, I'm putting out new content, new material on my YouTube page until the special comes out. It's going to be a couple months, but um, special coming out soon. Thank you for your support. Please come. Watch the YouTube premiere every Monday at 9 p.m. We love you. We love your comments. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. And basically, this is just all gratitude. Thank you. Uh, keep listening. Refer others to listen to us. We're bringing in big guns like Rich Aronovich to, um, to help with the podcast, shoulder some of the load. Not that me, Shannon, and Natalie are not capable, but Rich is a hired gun that just comes in and just destroys the room, just, just really... Um, shoots us down like a like a dog <laughs> in the middle of the woods. Um, he's the best. So uh, thank you guys, and uh, please continue to support uh, the show and all of us on the show. Rich, uh, I will be in uh, Long Island this weekend. Perfect. At I, I just got a message. So either at Levit, I think I'm going to be at Levittown. It looks okay. like at the bro- at the governor's governor's. Levittown. In Go Levittown. see Richard Governors. He's and local. New Year's, I will be in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the Comedy Zone. All right, Dreams Comedy come Zone. True. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'll be at the Cellar in Gotham and Westside and all over New York. And he's all over New York. I'm he's all hel- over. He's hilarious. If you haven't seen him, I've known him for uh, years. It's really, really funny. I haven't heard of me either. I uh, unreal. Well, support Richard Rod- Rich Richard. Rich is funny. funny. One word. Rich is funny. Opposite of poor, like your fans. Rich is funny. Yes. Dot com, dot net. Big on LinkedIn, said no one ever. Uh, and you can catch me on TikTok dancing, making people feel good. Dopamine, it's going to happen. Also, on Instagram, which does not mean cocaine right away. Rich is funny. Put in some nice, I did a nice video today making fun of Whoa Vicky. Hate her, love her, but I make fun of her. I do it with love. Shannon, what do you got? You can follow me on Instagram at ShannonLee6982. Listen to my podcast, The Thing Is Ding. We talk about bad dates, fighting, and ghosts. And um, the saga continues. We talked about it a little bit last week, but there was a fight between my co-host and I. And then last week on the most recent episode, Ralph Sutton and Louis J. Gomez, they mediate the situation. So stay tuned to what happens on the show. Ooh. Wherever you listen to Mike Vecchio and Investigates, you can also watch it live for free every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern at gasdigitalnetwork.com slash live. That's absolutely for free. The best way to sh- support the show is to go to gasdigitalnetwork.com. Use promo code MVI. That'll give you a one-week free trial which gives you access to every episode of this show that we've ever done as well as every episode of every show on the Gas Digital Network all for free for one week. If you listen on iTunes or YouTube, make sure to rate, review, tell a friend, leave a comment, subscribe. Every little bit of interaction helps the show. If you have questions, comments, or your own video investigation to submit, send it into Investigates at gmail.com. And there is a new show joining the network. I'm just trying to find the name of it. Rich Aronovich investigates <laughs> Mike Vecchione investigates. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not the name okay. of the show. It's a. It's called Slick and Thick, hosted by the UFC fighter Mickey Gall uh, Mickey and Gall's comedian great. Gerard Michaels, and they are joining the network. So keep an wow. eye out for their episodes. Who? Mickey Gall's a stud muffin. Who is he? He's, He's a, f- a UFC fighter. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, UFC fighter. Yeah, very of course he's very tough. Um, but right. I bet it, I could take. Him. He may come in before you leave. You may have a yeah, chance. Yeah, you might have to. <laughs> let's go to um, let's go to these stories fast, Shannon. Lightning round. Let's do it. I had sex with the world's most notorious sperm donor. I was desperate. So a woman from the Ukraine, she won some sort of lifetime lottery visa in the Ukraine in 2015 yeah. and was able to just come to the United States forever just for, just because she won. Yeah. So she came here. She was 30 years old at the time. She had a partner. They kept trying to have a baby. Didn't work. Uh, that ended up breaking up their relationship. So she started going to sperm banks yes. to get knocked up. And it didn't work. The first time she went, she did it on her own. Didn't work. The second time she had them administer it. I don't know how you would say it. And then uh, that also didn't work. So she looked up and there is apparently a guy who has claimed to have fathered like 60 something kids by donating his sperm. 
but Nick she Cannon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she didn't trust doing it by him just like sending her his sperm. Right. So she's like, "Can we like actually have sex?" And he yeah. said, "Yes." Yeah. So she flew to Miami. They had sex, of and course. now she has an eight-month-old baby. That's where you get pregnant, Miami. I, I think that's so. the moral of the story. You want to get pregnant? You're having problems? Go to Miami. You will get pregnant. The Cubans and the sperm swim so well. Again, too much. It's too much. I'm very offended. Why would you say that? The Cubans and the sperm? They swim so well. Both Why would swimmers. you? They're strong swimmers. <laughs> you go to Miami. If go you to wanna... Miami. You want to get she a little baby. A, I mean, Shannon, you did a great job of succinctly um, giving us that I, article. She came from the Ukraine, broke up with her partner, Went to a bunch of sperm banks, tried to make a withdrawal, and, and then went to Miami to and, get pregs. And that man's penis stands with Ukraine. <laughs> That's right. His that pe- man's st- yes. penis stands with Ukraine. She said, I want to go. I want to do it old school. And you save yourself 30 grand by not getting an injection. Oh, this guy just can't get laid, so he made up this story, fake news. Now he's having sex with hot Ukrainians. He does say that uh, he has, while he's donated so much sperm, that he has that women don't actually want to date him. They just want him for his sperm. That's right. That's what he says. And the problem is that. With that yeah, is I'm, what? So, I'm sorry. Where, where's the issue? I don't know. <laughs> I'm missing the problem. Out of these 60 kids, how much does he pay in child support, Shannon? <laughs> nothing. He pays nothing. Nothing. No, getting but, off free. But he does allow, what the women like about this is he says if they want that the kids are like allowed to reach out to them if they want to. Right. So whereas with the sperm bank, you'll never really know who the donor is. And yeah. with this, they can like DM him. Or yeah. I would just have my kids slip into my DMs. Yeah. <laughs> and be like, yeah. I'm, I, but 60 kids, it's like, that's a lot of baseball games. That's a lot. I mean, that's, that's a lot. A lot of formula. It's a lot of baby formula that's not available right now. And this guy doesn't care. Not at all. Yeah, it's up to the women. Should women be raising the children on their own just from a sperm donor? This is the text that she sent him when she finally tested positive. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. <laughs> yes. Are they co-parenting? <laughs> no. No, just like the, the having the sex and it working. How are you? It I, was, wow. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just reading what it said out loud. Up to that. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, okay. She uh, she said it was like one week after they had sex that she took the test and it came up positive. Do they have to fill out paperwork before this, Shannon? I'm sure they do. There, I, I legal feel like documents? I have read another article about him months ago, right. and I don't think so. Read an article or wrote a letter? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you think I should do that? Do you think I should just go to Miami and have a baby? I mean, do you want to have a baby? I think that there's people at Gas Digital Network who can make that happen. <laughs> Where would I get the formula, though? The baby formula is the least of your problems. You need to find out where to live stream it. <laughs> should we do it in the? Should, should you give birth? Can we get stirrups in here? Can we make the table smaller so we can get stirrups in here? How many likes you did natural- you get? How many <laughs> likes did you get during the birth? That's what it's all about. Yeah. And then we'll have an online Zoom shower. Oh yeah, <laughs> fun. Yeah. I have so many presents. If yeah. you got pregnant off the first crack back after five years, Shannon, biggest comeback story since Rocky. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and I just don't have sex again ever. Yeah. I just do it and then because you're a mother. Right. Mothers are not supposed to. <laughs> I don't know if you're listening and you're a mom. You're not supposed to have sex after you give birth, especially um, natural childbirth. I was born cesarean, so my mother was able to go on and have a lot of different exploits. <laughs> it's cut out of an untimely rip from my mother's womb. I'll do... I mean, I believe it was Shakespeare who said, "Untimely rip from my mother's womb." Most untimely rip from thou mother's womb. <laughs> Fornicate, poor for fortnight. C sections are we're a group, we're a specific group of people, and we're against the natural childbirths. So I feel kinship. I don't care if you're another race or your different sexuality or from another country. If you're C section, I have a special kinship to you. You're like a brother or sister or whatever gender you are to me. And if you're natural childbirth, I'm kind of against you. So when you guys meet, do you all enter through the side door? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't know how I feel about this. Shannon, are you ready to do this? Are you ready to live? Are you ready to be a mom and live stream it? I think the biggest problem, you might lose the best producer on the planet. So, both producer team. In. <laughs> both, both, produ- uh, you know, both of you. But I think that there's a space gumbo. in between Natalie and Shannon for a baby chair. That's true. The baby could do the sounds. Do you remember? Baby's no sounds. Baby no sounds. Mike, when we, I think it was no disrespect though. When one of your friends, I can't think of his name, Ben Rosenfeld. Yeah. He came in and he brought his baby yeah. and I had to babysit yeah. while I produced right. that and you whole did episode. Great. Yeah, so it is possible. It is possible. And babies are very, I'm sure Shannon's baby would be very well behaved. 
I, it's I a Staten so. Island baby, so it just needs <laughs> oh, hair gel. I'm crying over I'm me. I'm crying <laughs> over here. It's something to consider, Shannon. I would support that. Okay. But this guy seems like the luckiest guy in the world, Rich. Where are you at? Because you're you're torn between being a sexual being, which everyone knows that you are, gyrating on TikTok, and being a dad. Mm. So where do you where do you land on this? Sometimes it's time to retire the old gyration, as they say. Yeah. And um, this this guy, I don't know if he's fulfilled. I'm going to be honest. I'm getting out of accent because I'm getting serious. Yeah. I don't know if he's fulfilled. He's fulfilling a lot of yeah. people. But I don't know if he's. Did you have problems getting pregnant? Wow, personal. I'm sorry. We, our fans like, need to know. Rich. I feel like I'm at the comedy cellar, and you're Dave Attell asking me uncomfortable questions. <laughs> but these guys, uh, our fans may not not ever have a baby, so they I, need advice. You know what? From I'll you. tell you what. I had a very difficult time getting pregnant because I identify as a man. Does he use humor to deflect uncomfortable questions? Yeah, because he's a man. All right, let me just follow it up with something a little more lighthearted. When sure. is your wife ovulating? <laughs> Give us an exact date. So well, it ain't right know. now, boo boo. I'll tell you that. Ain't because she's not in town? No, she's Does it in upset town. you if she's ovulating in another city, maybe Miami? Oh, that would be upset. Oh, God. Ovulating on South Beach? Ooh. By the way, she did say that the whole experience was amazing. Yeah. She said he was great. He made her feel very comfortable. Right. That they hugged afterwards. And uh, she... <laughs> they should have hugged before. That leads up yeah, to it. Yeah, it leads up to the... Well, they did talk for a while before right. she went there. but right. uh, And then they hung out the night before. They had sex that night. And then again the next morning. Oh, oh. a little morning sex. Yeah. A little morning I think sex. that was a bonus, part of the bonus plan. Right, because you only need once to get pregnant. The morning sex is a bit gratuitous, don't you think? Well, I think obviously they slept in the same bed. Right. So, was there alcohol involved? I don't. I don't know. That no. Part. But they. He. She said that. Um. Why after they had sex that like he helped her because he knows the whole process of like he has a whole yeah. website telling people like how to have babies, how to conceive, <laughs> and so he said. So afterwards, he he like propped up her hips. You know, so that everything kind of slides in. Right. And then they just like talked and had a conversation as they like waited for it to you do that. You place the penis inside <laughs> the vagina. Uh, I don't know if there was drugs and alcohol, but it's weird if they named the kid Molly. <laughs> because of the, that's because of the drug that makes I you understand, rub up against each I other. understand. I understand. But doctor reveals why you shouldn't use toilet paper. Hello. <laughs> 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 Shannon, what yeah. is the deal with this one? <laughs> Butt doctor? I didn't even know that was an actual doctor. Yeah. Not on my health plan. <laughs> Not my health plan. Butt doctor. I ain't got no ass doctor up in here. Uh, so he's an Australian doctor, okay. uh, an all expert right. known as the butt doctor. The butt, oh, doc. the butt doctor, all right. And he's revealed why he's not a fan of toilet paper, saying that wiping, quote, too vigorously after doing a poo can lead to a lot of issues. He said, most problems I see with skin around the anus are due to excess attempts at hygiene, and it's very rarely due to insensitive hygiene. It's a very sensitive area, and that it's dangerous to wipe too hard. And that ideally, you should only spend, is that also you shouldn't be spending like forever like scrolling through Instagram on the toilet. You should go in there, spend two to three minutes, have an Focus. effortless poop. Yes, effortless okay. poop comes out, and then you should wipe, and nothing should be on the toilet paper. Right, is ideal. And if there is, then you wipe up to twi up to two to three times, and anything more than that is excessive and can traumatize the skin. First of all, you. First of all, I can see you're offended, <laughs> so I know you wipe Don't five to seven times uh, instead of two to me, three. Believe me, two to three doesn't even scratch the poo poo surface. Okay. <laughs> Secondly. How are you going to tell me two to three minutes? Yeah. It are should be effortless. Sh are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It should be, it should be effortless. It should be effortless. Oh, fine. Yeah. It should just flow through you. And you should be caring. First of all, who has that strong a hands that they're wiping that? I mean, are you- Two to three times? I mean- who is has I guess you have meat hooks, but what are the okay? So, no toilet paper. What do you propose you should use? A bidet, a bidet, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess we're all for money. I guess we all just have money falling in right. our laps. We have one here, you can just wait. To you have a here. bidet, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I should just w save my shits, book me once a day, <laughs> preferably in the morning, yeah. 
And if you're on time, called, yeah, Rich, then you'll... <laughs> yeah, if I'm on time. Very, very well Sorry, played. Rich. Otherwise, I would have shit my pants today. <laughs> I don't like being told how to wipe. I'll be honest with you yeah. with this. I don't care if he is a doctor. I have my own method, and I'll know when it's the time is right and when it's not right. And don't tell me what to read on the toilet. You shouldn't be on Instagram. Yeah, that's none of your you business. You shouldn't be um, on TikTok. Question, you go front to back or back to front? Um... Well, this is Australia. Yeah, so you have so to... I think it's opposite. I think it's counterclockwise. Yeah, I actually wipe left to right. Do you? Well, I, I'm Jewish, so right to left. Okay. <laughs> Hebrew. He. <laughs> oh my God. And finally, dear Abby, my husband doesn't. <laughs> my dear Abby, my husband doesn't want sex. Okay. What? So there's a little bit to this uh, story, though. Oh, this is a real. Did you go to Miami to get pregnant? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay, dear Abby, yeah. although my husband and I are no longer in a romantic relationship, we are what I call life partners. Mm. After cancer left him impotent, he rejected any physical affection at all. I had an extramarital affair, which lasted four years. My boyfriend passed away last year. I have no desire to be physically involved with my husband, but I do miss being affectionate and in a romantic, not, necessar- not necessarily sexual relationship. I feel empty, and I'm not sure if we should be considering divorce or continue our, in our day-to-day routine of being socially close but otherwise distant. We no longer share the same bedroom and we touch each other rarely he has recently become more verbally and emotionally abusive during arguments which may be the result of his recently reconnecting with his felon brother who had assaulted his wife i'm not sure what direction to go in hopeless in pennsylvania oh (laughs) this is easy suicide for all (laughs) what a depressing bunch of people are you kidding me rich never give up it's a big part of this podcast never give up never give up you instead you go for the felon brother i'm sure he can get an erection yeah the felon he, brother could probably get an erection he's been in lockdown having nothing but useless erections isn't that kind of ironic that one brother has all these useless erections in solitary confinement and the other brother can't get it up and it's like the wife is out there and she's caught between two worlds she just wants she, to be cuddled apparently she, she's caught between a rock and a not so hard place <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a little more on that from the from the booth. I looked back for the approval, and they I didn't get a smile back there. That was, yeah. Wow. Yeah. They do it in sound effects. It pays the <laughs> dividends in sound effects. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Could you be in a loveless, a loveless, just, a loveless marriage where it's like you're just cordial to each other? But he's starting to get abusive because he needs some, and she needs some too. So it starts to get um, what do they call it in hockey? Chippy. It's getting chippy. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like they need some couples counseling. Yeah. I mean, is this erection thing hard and fast? Like, you can't, you're definitely not going to be able to get one. I mean, he, has because he tried pills? Pills, and you could get something in, in uh, surgically surgically um, put in there. You could get that, pla- that, that, that wooden baby doll. You could just have it plastered on your <laughs> cock, and you have a baby cock. And then you can always have sex with the baby cock. The wooden baby cock. I don't know about that, Rich. As a practical solution, I'm just trying to throw out ideas. Okay, all right. There's no bad ideas in brainstorming except for that one. (laughs) (laughs) That one one was terrible. (laughs) There are no bad ideas except for that. That was pretty bad. Okay, so I mean, you could get you could get help another way, and I don't know why this woman is writing into Dear Abby. Right. You know, a little like too she's public. Got the answers. I mean, at least go to a butt doctor. She really <laughs> reverse engineer it. You know what she should do? She should be like, "Hey, even though I'm 80, I'd love to get pregnant. Find that guy with all the sperms. Go to Miami. He can lift up her hips. Probably will break them. Boom. She's out of her misery. Is she an he old gets la- some cock. It's problem solved. Is she an old lady? I. It doesn't say. No. She's an old lady. I could tell by the way she overshares. She's an old lady. Well, shouldn't she be focused on soup and bingo? <laughs> <laughs> and prescription medication. Yeah. And vitamin D. Vitamin D. And fish oil. Yeah. Gotta get that oh, fish oil. But I was going to sex with the vitamin D. Oh, oh, you, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Vitamin D. Vi- oh, get that Snap. vitamin D. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Shoot out that fish oil. Okay. So this lady has a real problem. And I think that the brother, I mean, they threw that into the article for um, effect. I don't know. The felony brother inmate. You know, I think maybe he could help out. That's why in the old days, when you would get when a man would get married, his brother would be the best man because if the man died, everybody had died pretty early. Then the brother steps in and then he becomes 
the husband. Is there an inmate, or did you just make that up for your little creep factor? Shannon? No, it's really here. Oh, okay. Re- a felon brother who had assaulted his wife. Oh, okay. So, not, oh, not fallen brother, but felon brother. Yeah. yeah if he had so, fallen and he was a felon, is he a fallen felon? Yes. And I'm a fellow. Yeah. He's, um, he had sex. Well, he had domestically abused his wife, and then he went to jail for that. That's what it is. Yeah, and then it he's out of way. prison, and now this woman is looking for someone. Yeah. Wow. We can't end on absolute silence. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of the assaulted brother, and uh, it's very dark. This one's a very dark article. <laughs> this, is a, this took a turn. This took a for very one. I thought it was dark. just uh, an affection thing, but it took a, a dark turn. I mean, um, I want to get a dog to shoot these people. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just hire a dog? Just get a dog just assassin. Hire a dog. And Shannon called bullshit on that because she was like, no, a dog couldn't pull the trigger. She's a vegan. So obviously <laughs> she's a vegan lawyer who's yeah. going to defend the dog. Yeah. A mash. Uh, we're doing one more because I can't leave okay, has the to be podcast real quick. in silence. Another show coming in. A mash made in heaven. Potatoes can help you lose weight, scientists say. I figure you hate this one, Mike. Uh, I do because I, I um, don't love the Irish. But um, potatoes are a, a thing. They help you lose weight. They help you lose weight. I don't buy this. I don't buy it either. They're starchy. They're, they're starch. fried. They're starch. Or they're, they're from starch. the ground. They're from the ground, from the yeah. earth. You call uh, Holland people love the Dutch. Yeah. The Dutch potatoes, they call them. Yeah. Potatoes, potatoes. It's all... F- but they did survive. The uh, Irish did survive just on potatoes for a long maybe, time. Maybe... they could come over here and become cops. That's it. And they were not intermittent fasting during the potato famine. They should have. They were just fasting. They should have looked into that. They should have looked into intermittent fasting yeah. instead of just fasting. Eating potatoes and then not eating anything and then dancing without moving your arms. That's very... Burns a lot of calories. Burns a lot of calories. All right. Feel the calves. Feel the calves. Feel the weight of this podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. We went lightning round. Shannon just... I mean, she was on fire. Rich and me and uh, Natalie looking on disapprovingly. Of yeah. all of this because it doesn't fit her Gen Z culture. Natalie um, was like a mime this whole podcast. No, Natalie is the younger generation, and if she doesn't get it, it's not relevant, dude. So you better you better watch her and then gauge what you're saying. She slaps. Her. It's lit. Yeah, it's lit, dog. It's lit. It's it lit. slaps. I never heard it slaps. It slaps, right? See? Look at that. I'm I'm Gen Young. You're Gen Z. I'm Gen Young. Uh, Jen Young is a it's an Asian Chinese actor. Actor, yeah. Um, I said Asian. Both, both just as offensive, but my word was less offensive, so thus I Well, let's I win. check with Natalie. Is that offensive, Natalie? Depends on if they're actually Chinese, I guess. Whoa, Whoa. ni hao ma! For, uh, guys, th- this was the show. Thank you so much for joining. We went overtime. We kept Rich. We punished him. He was in a penalty Deserved. box, and we kept him longer because of... Uh, punishments so for rich for shannon for natalie i'm mike vecchione we hope you loved it we love you we'll see you next week